Um, thank you guys. Thank you so, so much. Um, for anyone who doesn't know, I just moved into a new, um, a new house. Um, I just closed on March 11th. Uh, so starting a new chapter in my life, starting a new chapter in my life. Thank you so, so much. Thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Um, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to give you guys a grand tour eventually. Um, once I have all my furniture, my TVs up, like once it looks all nice, like I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. Um, but I, I love you guys. Thank you so much. But I'm going to do a collective reading um, for the day. Okay. Uh, today is the full moon in Virgo. Well, actually we had the full, the full moon, I think was exact at 3 a.m. this morning. Um, so if you guys have been super emotional, especially around the area of relationships and your health and wellness, that's full moon energy. Okay. A lot of closing of cycles happening, okay, on this full moon in Virgo. Yes, high anxiety, a lot of fatigue, a lot of random bouts of crying, um, maybe a lot of uh, reflection on your health and wellness routine, your nutrition, your exercise, your self-care. Virgo is very much about your physical health and wellness and taking care of the body, okay, okay. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys have been experiencing over the last couple of days as far as like health and wellness, like your body and like emotionally. But um, yeah, who uh, who's new here, by the way? Who's new? Yeah, the exhaustion is real. Uh-huh. Good morning. Hey, Sheridan. Hello, my love. Awesome. All right. So welcome everyone who's new. Welcome back all my regulars or anyone who's returning. I just like to introduce myself um, just so you guys know who I am and what I do and how I can help you. All right. So my name is Jacqueline. I'm the Holistic Siren and on my channel, I help you guys heal physically, emotionally, and spiritually. From a physical standpoint, um, I have my master's degree in nutrition and dietetics and education. I've also been a personal trainer for over 10 years. So I help you guys through nutrition and self-care solutions. I'm actually going to start adding in yoga and fitness very soon as well. So keep an eye out for that. From a spiritual perspective, I'm a natural born psychic medium. So I help you guys connect with your divine spirit guides, your guardian angels, archangels, as well as your past loved ones um, to deliver messages of healing. All right. So that is what I do on my channel. If you guys like that, hang out. Um, we have a lot of fun here. Uh, one thing, a really quick announcement I want to say to you guys, a lot of you have been asking me about nutrition support. Okay. Working with me as a nutritionist, as well as a spiritual mentor or a spiritual or energy healer. So my spiritual guidance sessions include both. Okay. So if you are looking to improve your health and wellness, through nutrition. I specialize in gut health, weight management, stress management, autoimmune, reproductive health as well, um, specifically women's health. All right. So uh, if you guys are looking for support with nutrition, learning how to eat for your body, for your hormones, for your overall health, for longevity, to improve your sleep, your energy, reduce anxiety, racing thoughts, maybe improve your digestion. I'm feeling a lot of you have food intolerances or you think you have food sensitivities, but you really don't. You probably have leaky gut. I wouldn't be surprised. Um, and then also helping you guys um, receive messages from your past loved ones, as well as channeled messages to improve your health physically and spiritually. So if you guys would like to book a spirit, um, a health and wellness spiritual guidance session. The link is in my TikTok bio. I'm saying that because I'm booking out like way into May at this point. I think I have like one or two appointments left in March and April. So if you guys would like to get your health and wellness on track, because I feel like a lot of you are so done with like not prioritizing your body, okay? Your nutrition, your diet, your exercise routine, and your self-care. So I decided to combine my Reiki healing, my energy healing with my nutrition expertise. Okay. Um, the link is in my bio if you guys would like to check it out. All right. And work with me in that manner. Um, anyway, who's ready for uh, the collective reading, guys? Who's ready? 
Also, please keep tapping the screen to like the live. We do have a daily goal of 30K likes. Um, so keep tap, tap, tapping. You guys are part of the team. You guys are part of the team. Um, I'm just going to grab a water really quick. Hold on. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. So here we go. God's Earth Universe, Divine Critical Things. I humbly ask to connect with my Divine Spirit Guides and the Divine Spirit Guides of the Collective that are only of the highest vibration and only act in accordance with your divine will to deliver messages of healing, love, and light, and only for our highest and best. Thank you. Amen. All right. So let's see. What is up, God's Source Universe, for today, March 18th, 2022? What is up? What's the overall energy of today? Oh, oh shit. Two of Cups. Balance. Balance. Hmm. Okay. The lovers in the reverse. Two of swords. Okay. The sun. Interesting. Okay. New beginning. New beginning. Happiness. All right. New beginning. Happiness. Uh, the sun. This is a brand new cycle. This makes so much sense because... The full moon is today, okay, um, in Virgo. So a lot of endings of relationships, of toxic, unhealthy cycles, especially with the way you communicate to yourself, the way you communicate to your partner or people in your life, friends, family, whatever. But this is abundance. This is um, also shining a light on the relationships that need to go and the relationships that support you, okay? But the bottom of the deck is the overall energy of the reading, guys, which is beautiful. So the sun, I feel like there is a new beginning in love for a lot of you, just with the lovers and the two of cups coming right out the gate. But this is also self-love, okay? Uh, I feel like you guys either made a very tough decision to walk away from a soulmate, okay? I do relationship readings, yes. Um, walking away from a soulmate, um, also, walking away from someone that may have put you in a third-party situation, maybe. Um, but I feel like you guys are defending your new beginning. Okay, you're defending your new beginning. Um, and what? Finding your own balance. Two of Cups. Two of Cups is a card of healing. Okay, it's not just a card of like dating or finding or like a your divine counterpart or anything like that. This is finding, this is coming into alignment with what works for you. Divine feminine, divine masculine. So a lot of you guys are following your intuition regarding um, your dream job or dream career path. Um, maybe you are um, taking action and finally into following your intuition regarding what makes you happy. That's what it is. And the universe is gifting you a lot of blessings. I feel like because you made a tough choice. All right. The two, we got this two of swords and then the lovers. A lot of twos. We have two of cups. Look at this. This is the card of Gemini, the twins. Okay. So we have two, 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 essentially. All right. So two, two, two coming out. Um, I feel like you guys made a tough decision and you chose yourself over someone else or you're gonna. Okay. That could be a, a decision that's presented to you today. Um, I feel like someone could also approach you about a new beginning. Um, but starting small baby steps, starting off with dating, not jumping right back into a relationship. Like let's get to know each other again. Um, type of shit. All right. But, um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clarify a little bit more. I'm going to clarify. Actually, I'm going to grab a separate deck. Hold on. Hold on. There we go. But there's new beginnings like here for you guys. I also, I feel like if you're moving someone out of your life or someone presented a choice to you, 
Maybe it's not like exactly what you want, but it's time to make a decision. It's time to make a decision, but let's clarify. Yeah, okay, Page of Cups in the reverse. Seven of Cups, choices, okay. Okay, so Justice in the reverse. Justice in the reverse. Um, so two cards came out, the Empress and the Three of Swords. Yes, so, I feel like the tough decision is releasing someone or some situation that it, that made you feel like you couldn't love yourself. Okay, this is someone that has inner child wounds. I feel like you guys, okay, this person um, or this situation presented a choice to you. Are you going to choose your inner child or are you going to choose the situation or the person? Are you going to keep hurting your inner child? Okay, I, I feel like a lot of you guys are doing a lot of inner child work, maybe a lot of shadow work. Um, you're, you're no longer opening yourself up to people that make you an option, an, an option, like a backup. An, a backup or like a... Like, I just heard side piece. I don't know. Um, but like the alternate, right? You're never first up to bat. You're the alternate. Okay. Um, and I feel like here, yeah, the Empress clarifying the Two of Swords. And this is for today, guys. Okay. I, I just feel like don't, full moons make you very emotional. Okay. Especially with that Seven of Cups. There's a lot of like, illusions okay especially because we're at the tail end of Pisces season so make sure you're extremely clear on what your priorities are okay you are your number one priority okay because this three of swords is still lingering around all right so some of you might be still dealing with um, a breakup emotionally or something that really hurt you and the thing is once if and when you, two, two, two people in the live, I just saw it. If and when you choose yourself, okay, two of swords and empress, are you going to choose you, your self-care, your creativity? That's what's going to get, that's what's going to heal this three of swords ultimately, okay? Because I feel like if you go back to this person or go back to the situation, go back to the old, it, it's going to give you more of this energy, the three of swords. Uh, you're going to repeat karmic patterns. Yeah, just... Shut the fuck up. I just picked up the justice card in the reverse, guys. Look, we have the sun again, twice, twice. Yeah, some, uh, whoever hurt you guys, they're getting their karma. Some of you are like very focused on a person who hurt you getting their karma and y'all leave it to the universe because they're going to take, the universe is going to take care of it. Okay. Um, it's really interesting though, because justice in the reverse, the lovers in the reverse, the moon is moving into Libra today. Libra is a sign that's very much focused on um, harmony and balance in relationships, career and finances. Um, and the Empress card is ruled by Venus. Venus rules Libra. Okay. So we have a lot of um, Taurus, like Venus energy, the planet of love, career, um, finances, what you value, what you're passionate about. Okay, so what this reading is saying, guys, prioritize your own balance, not trying to find balance in a relationship. Let things play out as they may. Let the situation play out as it may, all right? You guys trying to force anything is just not going to bring out the result you want. But let's keep going. Let's keep going. Yes, dude. The tower. The tower. Okay. Let's clarify that. The tower to me. Yeah. Okay. Come on. Something unexpected. Unexpected communication. An unexpected action. What the fuck? Death. <laughs> Scorpio energy. We've been getting this so, so much. Guys, you have to remember full moons, this full moon specifically, it is a very reflective time. So think about the person in your life that hurt you recently, okay? 
um, that have been standoffish, maybe ghosted you, maybe like very in and out of your life. Um, and again, it could be a, a, a romantic partner, family or friend, whatever it is. Or maybe you've just been wishy-washy with yourself, okay? I feel like the emperor on the bottom of the deck, someone is taking initiative here, all right? The emperor is like very assertive, very decisive, okay? So I feel like there's something unexpected, like this communication that's coming in is extremely unexpected. It could be regarding what? Three of Swords, breakup, or some sort, some sort of like difficult situation. All right, because why? What? Because why? Big time transformation. A lot of deep reflection by this person and by you though, and by you. Ten of Wands, yeah. Someone wants to to release a burden that they've been carrying. To me, with the with the Knight of Swords, this is like very uh quick, very um uh quick action. Like this decision was made very quickly um because there was like a sudden realization because of some really deep self reflection here. All right, um, and someone wants to unload. Whether that's you or this person, take it as it resonates. Someone wants to unload something. Yeah, seven of wands may cross your boundaries, may cross your boundaries. Also, though, um, do not be defensive. The guidance here is to not be defensive, okay? Uh, be open and compassionate. Listen before you speak. Remember what I said earlier, this full moon in Virgo. Virgo um, is associated with your throat chakra, so your communication you guys are learning very quickly that some of your communication styles are not healthy. They need to be healed or changed. So I feel like maybe in the past, you've thought about all the things you want to say to this person, like, bah, 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 like go off on them, right? Now, Scorpio energy, you did some really deep soul searching, a lot of healing internally. And now you know that this person, what they did to you came from a place of trauma, okay? Came from a place of darkness. Your light, your light shed light on their darkness. Your light shed light on their darkness, period. And when that happens, it triggers them. Your light triggers them. Two, two, two again in the live. You guys, I can't make this shit up. Keep tapping the screen, guys. We're almost at 30K likes. Let's do it. All right, so know that most of you are probably healers or you want to be a healer. Maybe you're an empath, maybe you're a psychic medium, maybe you're a medium, maybe you're, you have clairvoyance or whatever, or you just love to help people. It's just this innate need to help people. If you do, that means you're very much in your light. And when you're, light, when you're in your light and people are very much in their darkness, it's very triggering to them. Think about when people, I guarantee like you know someone in your life that has started getting into the Bible or religion or spirituality, but maybe they've changed. Maybe they've become more dark or sad or um, chaotic or just emotionally all over the place. The reason is the darkness is trying to pull them back down because the darkness does not want that person to come into their light. You get what I'm saying? So be compassionate with this person because I feel like they're coming into their light and what they did to you was not because of you, it was because of their shit. But that doesn't mean that they do, that they deserve to be hurt more because they're already coming from a place of hurt. You get what I'm saying? This is very much like Christ consciousness, like, you know, um, the teachings of like Jesus Christ or just being... Um, Coming from a higher level of spirituality. Coming from a higher level of spirituality. Rising above the situation. Rising above your ego. Okay, rising above your ego. Okay, three of cups in the reverse. Now, this person could have been doing a lot of healing after... 
again, if you're in a, if you were in a relationship after a third party situation, um, or just not, not celebrating you, not celebrating you. This is all like, I feel like after like ostracizing you, bottom of the deck, the moon in the reverse. So moon in the reverse guys, things being revealed. Okay, I feel like this person, oh my God, come on. I feel like this person made it look like they were fine. Maybe you were watching their social media. And they looked okay, like they were posting pictures and things in their story about like them being just fine. Like, oh my God, I'm out, like having fun, blah, 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 blah. But I feel like it's not true. I feel like they're they're going to reveal they feel like they lost their tribe. You were like. Like they lost their best friend. That's kind of what it feels like. Maybe you guys like let go of this person. And maybe it was your best friend or feel like this person said that you feel like their best friend or they felt like your best friend. Like, this is a level of vulnerability, okay? This is a level of vulnerability that this person may have not expressed before. The moon in the reverse, facing fears. This is something that this person is very afraid to tell you. Could be because they're very much in their ego. But you guys aren't expecting this. This message has been coming through so, so much. So, so much. Also... I feel like you guys, I feel like you guys are surprising yourself by the actions you're taking because you've changed so much, because you're going through this rebirth process, okay, this huge transformation, all right, I feel like the actions you're taking now are so, are like surprising you, okay, the way you think, the way you act, the way you speak is very different than it was even three months ago, and you're like, what the fuck, like I've, and you want to know why? Because you put your walls down. You released burdens that were no longer yours to carry, well, that were never yours to carry in general with that 10 of wands and seven of wands. You're releasing defensiveness, the vulnerability. And you're also, okay, here we go. You guys are completely changing your, your soul family, your tribe. I feel like a lot of you guys dropped a lot of friends or people that felt like friends, like, but they were in your life just to fill space. Now you guys are, are searching for soul family. You are literally searching for people that are in alignment with you. Um, oh my gosh, you guys, we're at 30K. Awesome. Let's go for 50K likes, guys. Tap, 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 tap. All right. Um, yeah, you guys are in like, are, are really searching for your soul family. Big time. People who are not afraid to share their burdens to share their experiences, to be vulnerable. It's almost like you guys are in that space and now you're like, I wanna find people who are like that too because I wanna hear their stories. I wanna know people share in my experience that I'm, un that I wanna connect with people that understand me at the soul level. At the deepest level, I want to experience that. I want true connection because I am finally, truly connecting with myself. I am, oh wow, this is a very powerful message. Your guides are coming in hot, like, woo. You are no longer connecting with people at the surface fucking level because it's not worth your energy. Period, dot, end of story. Surface level connection is a thing of the past. Now, if you do not connect with me spiritually, emotionally, 
if you are not on my motherfucking level and you don't go deep and you're not vulnerable and you're not willing to share your burdens, if you're not willing to celebrate me like I'm willing to celebrate you, you're not in my life. I will not share my energy with you. I will fucking not open my energy up to anyone who does not share in my purpose in this life to elevate spiritually. I will not do it. I will not tolerate it. I've taught you've tolerated it for too long. Sorry, it, 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 this is a very strong message, you guys. You only accept unconditional love in any capacity, in any and every relationship. Love is unconditional by definition. If you have any inkling that someone is exhibiting signs of conditional love, you immediately are exiting that situation. You are picking up on that instantly. Whereas before, you were in a space of, I will meet those conditions because I feel unworthy. But now, because, what? Oh shit, whoa. Death card, Scorpio energy, transformative rebirth energy. You no long you know, you no longer have to meet any fucking condition that anyone sets for you because love is unconditional. There is nothing you have to do to be worthy of love. There is nothing you have to do to receive love. At all. You are the embodiment of love. And anyone who does not acknowledge that fact does not deserve to be in your life. Period. Mic drop. <laughs> wow. That was... Holy shit. Is that resonating for you guys? Tell me in the comments. I just... 444 four, four likes. I saw 444 four, four just now. I okay. All right, that was a little that was a little your spirit guys. That was a little Archangel Michael guys. That was a little Archangel Michael. Mhm. 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 Mm mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, 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 wow. All right. Let's keep going. Who wants to keep going, guys? Tell me in the comments. Let's keep going. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. What a powerful message. Holy shit. Tell me in the comments, guys. Okay. What? It's okay. My dad's like gingerly walking around me right now. <laughs> All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see what else. Let's see. For today. Remember, this is for today, guys. The 18th. Yeah. I. F you guys, the sun is back on the bottom of the deck. Are you freaking kidding me, man? Th this is the third time. This is the third time I've seen the sun in this reading. Okay, so the first card, don't freak out when I show you the first card. Nine of swords and then the six of wands. You guys are overcoming any anxiety. You're like moving past it. You're moving past it, okay? You're no longer conflicted about this person or this situation or um, the fact that you're moving forward in your life for you alone, okay? Six of Wands, successfully overcoming any anxiety, any fear, any doubt, any um, heaviness about the future. What I'm getting is like you guys are realizing your anxiety is because you're either in the past or in the future. You're not in the present. Okay. So... Know that even in the moments where you're anxious, you're still moving towards success. You are overcoming the anxiety. You are 100%. Think about you three months ago. 
Okay. I think about myself three months ago when I, I left my ex, my ex fiance, because he cheated on me for a year. I packed my shit and I left. Okay. You guys, I was anxious every day, panic attacks. Like it was, I couldn't even get out of bed some days. I could barely speak. Okay. Tear, like just, oh my God, it was so bad. Um, but now things that I was, I have overcome that anxiety because I realized that this journey is about me, not for anyone else. I just, I'm sharing a little bit of my story just so you guys can resonate. Okay. Just so you guys can resonate. But anyway, let's get one more. Seven of Pentacles. Yeah. Okay. So some of you guys have been, um, Queen of Swords. A lot of you guys are strengthening your discernment. Um, you're speaking your truth. All right. Um, I feel like a lot of you have support from a, a past loved one that was older maternal energy, older female. Darker features, though. Maybe dark eyes, dark hair, maybe like more olive or tan skin. Um, doesn't have to be though. Doesn't have to be though. Um, could be anyone who had like maternal energy for you. Doesn't have to be your actual mother. Um, but I feel like this person is cheering you on. Okay. And whatever you guys have been anxious about, nine of swords, there's, you're going to be successful in what the seeds that you're planting. I feel like you guys are realizing investing in yourself is going to lead to success. All right. You guys have planted the seeds in the universe as well regarding finding soul family. And that's probably why you were guided here. Okay. Probably why you were guided here. All right. Um, so if you guys would like, so my, the soul family I've created um, is called holistic, the holistic wellness hub. Um, and it's a private group where we all get to share our journey, our burdens, our spiritual journey, our health and wellness journey. I do classes every two weeks regarding nutrition, exercise, um, also energy healing, spirituality, um, Reiki, things of that nature. Um, if you guys would like to check that out or join, the link is in my TikTok bio. It's called uh, Holistic Wellness. But you guys are planting seeds to the universe. Like I want my soul family. I want to come into alignment with what coming into alignment with things that you want to celebrate that you, the things that you deem celebratory, you want to come to an, and come into alignment with people who celebrate you. Okay. Not people who put you down. Like what I'm hearing is emotional punching bag. I feel like you guys were an emotional punching bag for a lot for people in your life, other people in your life. Like you're constantly like absorbing the beat up, emotional beat up. I mean, um, could, could be some physical as well. Okay. Um, but take it as it resonates. You guys were absorbing the physical beat up. I mean the, the emotional beat up. I'm sorry. The emotional beat up. I apologize. Um, but you're no longer doing that anymore. I feel like a lot of you are also learning how to cleanse your energy, ground your energy, um, because a lot of you are empathic. You take on other people's energy a lot. So now maybe like salt baths are like a, a ritual for you, maybe journaling every day, um, maybe going for a walk outside, um, maybe working with crystals, right? Take it as it resonates. Are you serious? Three of Pentacles in the reverse. So we have three, three. Okay. Yeah, you guys are anxious about something not panning out. Six of Swords. There's the lovers again in the reverse. Are you serious? Okay. And then the Hanged Man. The Hierophant. Okay. Okay. There's definitely a soul lesson here, you guys. Um, the Hierophant. This is also a card of higher learning. So some of you want to learn. Okay, some of you want to um, become more educated in how to move on from situations that feel hopeless to move out of toxic energy, toxic relationships. 
Um, but it's almost like you need to learn from someone. You need to learn from someone. Okay. Someone who is maybe educated, who you admire, who you see as like a spiritual leader or someone who is an expert in what you want to learn about. Um, because a lot of you want to do this yourself. I feel like a lot of you want to help people get out of negative situations to move on, to become healed, to become better. And the hanged man, I feel like you, you guys are, are feeling stagnancy right now, feeling stuck, like, because you're not, you're not, like, um, you're not uh, connecting with this community. Okay. Maybe you're, you're not investing in your education, your spiritual education, um, maybe your health and wellness. Okay. You're not putting in the physical investment. Okay. Um, maybe you're like a little gun shy to spend the money. Maybe you're, um, just, you have a fear of it not working out or not working, but my beloved, you're never going to know if it works unless you try. You got to put yourself out there. That's part of this vulnerability. Okay. I feel like p these people in your life in the past that you're letting go of, they held you back because you used them for, or for extra, you not used, you went to them for external validation. Now you're learning. I don't need external validation. I just need my intuition. Okay. But it's like your intuition is telling you to invest in yourself, but you're still hesitating. And again, maybe because it's a financial thing. Okay. Maybe it's financial. I'm getting big finances. Like you guys are gun shy with money. Just And that makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of shit going on in the world. But the thing is, my beloved, the universe is more powerful than what's going on in the physical. So if you invest in yourself, the universe is going to invest in you. And I mean financially as well. Okay. There's different forms of abundance, but I feel like a lot of you guys are very focused on money right now. Um, also, take a step back. This is going into the relationship sector. Take a step back and under, try to see why the relationship did not work out right now. Why is there stagnancy in the relationship? Maybe because the two of you need to heal separately. Okay. Maybe you need to move on separately to come back together or not come back together at all. But the, the hanged man is saying you're put in this position of like feeling stuck um, so you can look at the situation from a higher perspective. Two, two, two again in the live. I can't make this shit up. Okay. I can't make this shit up. But again, Queen of Wands, the Hierophant, use your discernment regarding who you learn from. The spiritual teacher. Okay. This, this person who's educated. Also, um, strengthening your discernment is also a lesson for you guys. Discerning who belongs in your life, who doesn't. Who has negative energy? Who doesn't? You get what I'm saying? Um, but with compassion, okay? But, you know, you're, if you need to raise that sword, you're going to fuck motherfucking raise that sword if you need to to protect your energy, okay? I'm going to pull some self care cards, you guys, to, to, to end the reading, but, um, Oh my God, you guys, we hit 50K likes already? Holy shit. Keep tapping the screen, guys, to like the live. Um, let's go for 70. Let's do it, right? But who's ready for some self-care? Tell me in the comments, guys. Tell me in the comments. Okay, let's do it. Self-care. Movement. What was I saying? What was I saying about the full moon in Virgo? Very much about the physical body, health and wellness. Okay, moving your body. But look at the look at her aura. And I was talking about yoga as well. Look at her aura, how expansive it is. All right. I feel like movement for you guys is very important to release any excess energy that you've been harboring. When you're purging up uh, uh, when you're purging emotion or purging energy, movement is very helpful because your body holds on to that. Okay. So some of you, I feel like you're like this. Okay. Like maybe your shoulders are rolling forward or you're constantly feeling like you have to stretch your back or some shit. Okay. 
crack your neck and maybe, I don't know. There's something about tightness, like, and it's rolling, your shoulders are rolling forward um, because you're tense, all right? Because of that energy you're taking on, all right? And it could be tenseness anywhere in the body, but I'm feeling like, it's giving me 10 of wands energy, right? So if you know 10 of wands, it's a person in the picture with a lot of uh, wands on their back. So it's like this, okay? It's this like, oh, this heavy burden. No, you got to move your body to release that energy, okay? Especially with this Virgo energy, okay? Um, what? Oh, okay. Be still. Oh, interesting. Look at this balance. Movement and be still. No one, feel your body out. No one, your body needs to chill and when your body needs to move. That's that two of cups energy, guys. Knowing your body, learning what it needs, duality. Um, I feel like this is also beast. Uh, okay, what I'm getting is a lot of you guys channel messages differently, okay? And what I mean by this, you don't have to lay down and be still to channel, okay? To hear your guides, to hear the messages coming through. I actually channel the best when I'm driving or when I'm at the gym, believe it or not, not in complete silence. When I'm at the gym, you guys, I channel like crazy. Like I have my phone out and I'm like writing notes down when I'm working out because so many things come. Um, so when I'm moving my body, I'm releasing energy from other people. So I'm more clear. So whether you want to be still or move your body, give it a try. Try meditating differently. You don't have to meditate and close your eyes. You can meditate and walk around. Like it's not, there's not one way to do it. Okay. This is very customized to you. I feel like, um, you guys are looking for someone to help you like customize your spirituality, customize your nutrition, your health and wellness. Health and wellness includes your spirituality, by the way, not just your physical health, but it's like you want customized solutions. You're like tired of like the generic, like, let me go in the paleo box or the carnivore box or the keto box or the vegan box. It's kind of like you want a balance of everything, but for you specifically, let me know if that resonates for you guys in the comments. Um, there's just something about customizable health and wellness um, because you've tried other things and you're like, this shit ain't working. I keep going back to it. It's like a vicious cycle, like the yo-yo, the yo-yo dieting shit, the yo-yo dieting stuff. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. A lot of you are saying that. Shut the fuck up. You guys, please, um, please confirm in the comments right now. Did I not say you can clear your energy through movement? Did I not say that? Please confirm that in the comments. Did I say clear your energy? Because you guys are taking on a lot. Look what we got. <laughs> Clear your energy field. Guys, I'm not playing, man. I can't make this shit up. I can't make it up. What the fuck? Clear your energy. Dude, I can't. I, I just can't. All right. So you see she has a... um. The girl in the picture. She has a sage stick. So you could use sage. You could use palo santo. You could use juniper, cedar. You could use, I don't know, rosemary. I personally love your basanta because 2022 is a year of healing the self, of self-love. Your basanta will cleanse your energy, clear your space, okay, of negative energy like sage. But it also um, helps you, helps open you up to your healing. It's also really good for shadow work and easing shadow work a little bit. Um, like the emotional side of it, your basanta is one of my favorite things, uh, favorite herbs, um, to work with. Um, but anyway, also Reiki. Okay. So Reiki is great for that too. If you guys want to book a Reiki session with me, um, that's what I do. Clearing your energy field, your aura, your chakras coming into alignment and then, have I not been talking about friends and finding soul family? Look at this. Spend time with your friends. Spend time with your friends. But look at what the friends are doing. They've got tarot cards. They've got a journal. They've got crystals. What else? Oh, they even have like... um 
healthy snacks. So it's like you guys want to come into alignment with soul family, with friends, okay, who have, who are on a health and wellness journey like you, who are embracing their spirituality like you. You're trying to find your friends, okay? So that's what I got for the collective reading, you guys. That's what I got for the collective reading. Um, what I want to say about soul family, you guys, if you would like to join my soul family that I've created, um, the link is in my TikTok bio. It's called Holistic Wellness. Um, but I think you guys would find that really, really helpful. For others, if you guys are looking for customized nutrition and spirituality tools, okay, um, I highly suggest you check out my spiritual guidance sessions. The link is in my TikTok bio. Um, also, a lot of you need to clear out your energy big time. We've got a lot. We've got a lot of energy here, or a lot of cards here that are saying like clear your energy. Um, you can book a Reiki session with me through the link in my bio as well. All right. Um, also, last thing. Uh, if anyone is interested in learning tarot, the Holistic Siren Tarot School is now open for registration. Um, regarding tarot school, guys, uh, early bird pricing ends today. So if you want to take advantage of the early bird pricing, I suggest you sign up for tarot school today. Um, so what will be covering is how to read tarot, the different types of spreads. Um, I'm also going to be teaching you guys how to channel your own divine spirit guides. Okay. Um, so all the information can be found through the link in my TikTok bio. Um, but let me know guys, if you have any questions about my services, uh, everything can be found through the link in my bio as well. If you would like to join the full moon in Virgo forgiveness activation healing session, I'm hosting a full moon Reiki tonight. The link is in my TikTok bio. Very affordable. It's only $33 for a full hour. All right. But let me know if you guys have any questions um, about my services, booking a Reiki session with me, having a spirit... Um, having me be your spiritual mentor, okay? Um, 